It's getting too late. Too sunny. Too hot for them? Yeah. Is this where you saw most of them? Yeah, right here we started to see, this is where we saw about probably 12 hours. This is another protected species. This is the two-stripe garter snake. Again, not allowed to handle it um, due to California law. <clears throat> but this is like like any of the other garter snakes. They're going to be found around water. Uh, so there's the water. Another thing about the garter snakes is that when whenever they feel threatened, they musk and they stink really bad. Garter snakes are really known for that. But they're always found around water because of what they eat. They eat fish, tadpoles, frogs, uh, frogs' eggs, uh, salamanders, occasionally earthworms. But their diet consists of animals that live in or around water. Now this snake will grow to about two to three foot in length. Uh, most of uh, them are right around that two foot length. And this guy's about probably 15, 18 inches, somewhere around there. Now this is a uh, diurnal snake, comes out during the day. Now one of the reasons why this is a uh, species that is uh, protected is due to habitat loss. They are widely found throughout California, but um, there's a lot of habitat loss. So California deems them a uh, species of special concern, protected species. This is actually the second stripe, two-stripe garter that we found. Or, yeah, it's the second one we found today. Um, so the other one we found was a little noodle. He was about six, seven inches long, just a tiny little guy. So very, very cool. Two-striped garter snake.